The cosmic event will take place tonight as seven planets align in a planetary parade. Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune will all be visible at the same time, though you'll need binoculars or a telescope to see the last two. Lowell Observatory Director of Science, Gerard Van Bell, is here to tell us all about it. Gerard, thanks so much for coming on. How, thanks, how rare is it to see this kind of planetary parade? It happens uh, pretty unusually, but uh, right now we have a number of that happening this summer and uh, into the fall. So right now we have all seven, as you mentioned, and it's uh, you know it's a nice thing to go outside and see the uh, see the planets uh, overhead. You know you got to really work to see the things off of the east with uh, Saturn, Mercury, and Neptune right at sunset. Venus is nice and bright off in the off in the east, and then overhead you get Jupiter and Mars that are very very bright. So when's the best time and what's the best way to try to see them all? So you have to do it right at sunset, and um, you have to be able to see the eastern horizon very clearly because the uh, those three planets that are very close to the sun right now are pretty hard to catch. Uh, Mercury is always hard to catch because it orbits so close to the sun. And uh, Saturn and Neptune just happen to line up that right there as well. And things like Neptune and Uranus, you'll need a telescope or binoculars to see. But, but other than that, you know, Venus and Jupiter and Mars should all be really bright and easy to pick off just with your eyes. And, and how do you tell? Does it just look a lot brighter than the other stars, or is there something else that distinguishes it? So Venus and Jupiter will be quite a bit brighter than the other stars. Um, overhead, with, with, with Jupiter overhead, uh, it'll actually be pretty near a star called um, Aldebaran, the, the, the eye of the bull. And, um, you know, that's a, a nice reference as well. Mars is about as bright as the other stars, but has a very distinctive red color. And so it's going to be easy to pick off because of that. Um, the, uh, the other ones are just going to be very hard to see, so you got to really work at it and, and uh, do your best. And when's the next time we'll see this many planets aligned and visible? So in the fall, in August, what we'll be able to see, again, is a number of these planets lined up. But that'll actually be in the morning, so you have to be an early riser for that, which I'm not a big fan of. Okay, so this one's for the night owls among us. I I'm with you, That's right. Gerard. I'm with you. Yep. <laughs> Gerard Van yeah. Bell, Director of Science at the Lowell Observatory. We appreciate your time today, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Diane.